Fight scenes are awesome, and if you've ever wanted to direct one yourself, this one's for you. In this video, I'll show you how I created this kung fu fight scene in Unreal Engine 5. Combining my own performance capture with an animation pack from Real Illusion, I was able to achieve some crazy results, and in record time. On top of that, I'll show you how I dubbed the English performances to Chinese using Eleven Labs and MetaHuman Animator. But first, enjoy the film. Chinese 你教导是不是吗你认为这种破坏带来秩序吗你的老板发狗凭借这种力量可以迫使他改变了上我停下那样的能量会有把你死掉我不是你的学生Alright, thanks for watching. So, the idea for this really came from seeing this animation pack from Real Illusion. I think I saw it in a YouTube video by JS Films like a year ago or something. And, you know, I was just like, I have to make something with this. And it's this pack of amazing hand-to-hand -hand combat animations. I think there's 68 animations or so. You really just drop them into Unreal Engine and you have a, the basis of a fight scene right there. And I just remember thinking they were so cool. And, uh, you know, all I would have to do is come up with kind of like a story and some performance capture to kind of tie these choreographed fight scene animations together. And so I was just browsing Fab for an environment and uh, the thumbnail for this one uh, just jumped right out at me. I was like, I, lo I love that look, this burning tree and the destroyed temple around it. I knew I could use the fire to sort of motivate the lighting and that would act as sort of my main light source and I could sort of frame the characters against the fire. And, you know, I just dropped in the metahumans with their outfits and you know pulled in some of the animations from real illusion got them retargeted to metahumans and was just kind of you know set up a camera and kind of moved around a little bit and was like okay this is totally working i added some more ember and fire and smoke particles in the background just to kind of busy it up liven up uh, the space behind the characters and then of course i used easy rain i mean rain just adds so much drama to a scene so much ambiance and i was like all right i got my my aesthetic down and i basically just came up with a story 
you know, around these things. This is not the best script, but this is really just a vehicle to get us into the fight choreography, which is what I wanted to practice filming in the first place. So all the performance capture was done using Move Pro, which is the multi-camera solution from Move AI. And uh, this is a great system. I've been using it for almost a year now and I've gotten it down so I can get really good body captures uh, every time. And uh, the hands definitely still struggle though. And in this case, there, there was something wrong with the retargeter and using the hand poses, I wasn't even really able to fix the hands, but uh, whatever. There were there were a few times where I have to kind of, you know, whip the camera or something, uh, you know, to kind of hide the transition from choreographed animations to uh, my animations, but I think overall it worked fine. So in addition to that, I uh, found these VDB assets uh, with these explosion effects, and I was like, this is, this is perfect for some sort of you know, Dragon Ball Z style energy blasts or something. So maybe we can tie that into the story somehow as well. And then for some reason, I decided it would be cooler if it was all in Chinese instead of English, but I would deliver the whole thing in English and then using some AI tools and animation tools, I would change my performance into Chinese while still maintaining the original sort of uh, performance that I give in English, if that makes sense. Forbidden Scrolls warned of this power's price. It does not serve you. It consumes you. So the whole script is written in English and I give the performances in English and capture my face using MetaHuman Animator the same way I would normally. And then I take that audio, that English audio, upload that to Eleven Labs, and then using the Eleven Labs dubbing tool, I then convert the lines into Chinese. And it clones my voice, sort of, um, <laughs> but the idea is that it's my voice, my performance, but just delivered back in Chinese. I then used the audio to lip sync tool, which just takes the audio and generates full facial animation from that audio. Shang. And so then I copied the keyframes from the Chinese animation mouth onto the original animation. And the results were okay. This is extremely tedious and I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it, but you know, I would I would just kind of do a test and and it would and it was it looked pretty cool and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with it. So I kind of just committed to doing the video like this. And if you want to try out Eleven Labs and support the channel at the same time, I do have an affiliate link in the description or right up here. And the sound design was really fun actually. I'm not a great sound mixer or sound designer. Um, I just use Artlist, which I've used for years. Uh, I've used it for my commercial projects for music mostly, um, but I've recently started to use it for all the sound design for these Unreal Engine films. And they have a plugin that just integrates right into Adobe Premiere. And so I'm able to just literally, you know, search whatever sound effect I want and drop it right into the timeline and just layer tons of sound effects and music elements and stems from the music. Yeah, uh, I also have an affiliate link for Artlist. So if you want to try them out um, and support the channel at the same time, uh, it's in the description or right up here. One thing that's really interesting about these animation packs is I haven't found anything really similar to this. Uh, sure, there are paired animations on Fab and elsewhere, but there's not a lot of like great choreography that you can drop into a fight scene like this. And I'm wondering, you know, what the market is like for that because I'd really like to create more. So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you like using assets like this. You know, do you think these ones are overpriced? I think it's like $110 for this whole pack. You used to be able to buy the animations individually, I think, but you can't anymore. Anyway, you know, if, if this is something you would use, like say sword fighting or other forms of hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat or choreography, you know, let me know if that's something that you like to use in your productions. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.